Welcome to this week's Tech Tip, where we'll take a look at the system's ability to utilize surface geometry as tool containment boundaries. There are multiple ways to go about defining a boundary to be used for containment. In many cases, you can chain the wireframe that exists on the solid model itself. We also have the option of creating a continuous curve from the wireframe geometry, or a projected 2D silhouette boundary. These may be the desirable approach if the boundary is going to be reused for subsequent machining sequences. However, there may be times when you'd like to experiment with different containment boundaries without having to create multiple additional profiles. In these cases, a very simple and efficient way to select a containment boundary is to use the surface patches themselves as the boundary definition. In the example here, we'll create a profile toolpath that we will use to finish this upper tapered wall. In this particular situation, we want to make sure that the boundary control is set to contact so that the resulting toolpath will clean up the surface completely. With that set, we can go ahead and select OK. We can now choose the solid model as our surfaces to machine and the tapered wall as our boundary element. We can see that the profile operation has been neatly confined to the selected boundary surface. In the second example of this functionality, we'll use a constant cusp toolpath to finish the lower fillet features. Again, we'll ensure that the boundary control is set to contact and hit OK. We'll once more select the solid as the surfaces to machine, and then from a top view, we can easily select the individual surfaces as the boundary definition. You can see that the toolpath was accurately confined to the selected surfaces. However, after looking at the resulting path, we may not be happy with the way that the toolpath is broken up on this particular feature. If that's the case, it's just a simple reselection of the boundary to fix the path and give us the results that we're looking for. This time around, I'm selecting only the outermost fillet surfaces. As you can see from the example here, in certain situations, boundary selection can be greatly simplified by using this simple surface selection approach rather than chaining or creating additional profiles. We hope that you found this tech tip helpful, and until next time, stay productive.